Hey everybody, it's Joe Deganzik, and we're back with a follow-up video to a product we talked about in January of this year. What product might that be? Well, it's the Uluxus LED light bulb. Now, the Uluxus bulb is unique. Why is it unique? Well, we went through an entire little mini review episode back in January. You can click that little information button to watch the three minute video. And we'll go and put the specs up there. But anyways, it's a regular looking LED bulb, right? That was what they were going for. We hoped that the LED world would eventually catch up and stop it with the fins and the funky looking bulbs. It's plastic, mostly. LED lights inside, a nice diffuser comes in soft white and warm white, I mean soft white and also a daylight white using only 7 watts of power. Either it's the most efficient or one of the most efficient LED bulbs that's out there and it's relative and it's pretty inexpensive as well. So, I want to talk about three topics that we didn't really cover on the initial episode and that's dimmability, temperature, and my favorite, especially for this episode, durability and that's the drop tests. Okay, so dimming, we put it through our standard torture test. 30 seconds from all the way bright to all the way zero, and it dims pretty smoothly. It has a little bit of flicker, and you can see some of the little steps in the dimming. Um, once you go below 20 to 25%, some LED bulbs just happen to do this. The manufacturer, who was kind enough to send us the LED bulbs for testing, Uluxus, um, said that it's already been solved in their next production run. So the bulbs may actually be in uh, shipping at this point uh, to consumers. So that's the dimming, good performance, and if you don't care about dimming, well then it's a great light bulb anyways, because you'll just be flipping it on or off. Okay, next topic, temperature. We've definitely tested our fair share of LED bulbs. Some of you have con been concerned about the heat sinks, uh, which are normally visible, or the fins or the metal parts. The heat sink in this bulb allows it to channel the heat away from the LEDs down into the screw base. So the bulb shell actually remains cool. And we tested, we tested it by the holding it in the field test. But we also tested it with our good old you know, instant read um, thermometer. They're pretty fun. I just like aiming at, at things, but not people. Don't do that. Uh, lasers are bad. So anyways, uh, we tested it 95 degrees. That's three degrees cooler than your internal body temperature of 98.6. That's after an hour of running it at full brightness. Again, 95 degrees on the bulb shell and only 113 degrees on the actual base which you wouldn't be holding it on the base anyways. You would be holding it like this, screwing it in or unscrewing it from a fixture. So its closest competitor, the Cree 4 Flow with its vented design, got to 111 degrees on its bulb shell. And it vented the heat directly out and it didn't vent it down to the base. So that means this was two degrees cooler than the bulb shell, or uh, two degrees warmer than the bulb shell of the Cree 4 Flow but still a lot cooler in general, 15 degrees cooler at the part that you would be holding it at. That's really impressive. So this is either, and this is in my own um, personal history with LED bulbs and my own testing for this show. From what I can tell, this is the world's coolest running LED bulb. Very, very impressive technology. So the third one, and this is where it takes the cake, is durability and this is where we get into drop tests now we all know of course what happens when you drop a cfl or an incandescent light bulb right but wouldn't that be better in in slow motion so you could watch it you know over and over and over again All right, destroying light bulbs is actually serious business, folks. And we did this famously last year. We dropped our LED bulbs in the LED light bulb buying guide three times each. That was about the amount of times that you would probably accidentally drop one of these bulbs in its lifetime, or maybe you handed it to your kids and they dropped it. But anyways, four survived, four did not. So the manufacturer, when we were talking to them um, and when they had sent us the, uh, the review samples, they said, this bulb is really, really durable. And they liked our drop tests from last summer. They said, go ahead and drop it, but maybe do a little more and really, really, really test it out. So, all right, well, I'm not one to turn down a challenge. So challenge accepted. 
So here's the deal. So we already dropped this, actually the other one. We already dropped it three times on accident during the episode of, recording the episode uh, from January. So it went through the standard drop test that we did last summer and it survived no problem at all. No defects either. Pretty just in pristine condition. So I figured let's drop it a total of 25 times onto our standard concrete surface from about four or five, you know, eight feet off the ground and just drop it on its head, on its base, on, on the side and see what happens. We tested it after each one and it lit up without a problem. So I said, okay, how about 10 more times? And this time with some force, not just dropping it, but really throwing it down onto the ground. After nine times, it still survived without a problem. Now, granted, it started deforming a little bit at the base, which is soft metal, and the actual base, the screw base, started to come off from the shell a little bit, but I was able to actually still screw it in and pop it back together, and it wasn't a problem. On the 10th time, I said, let's just go all out, and I'm going to get angry, and I'm just going to slam the bulb into the ground. And yes, the bulb shell went one direction, and the base, which is attached to the LED light tower inside, went the complete opposite direction. But when I put them back together, after examining it and looking at the cool engineering, it lit up without a problem. Now, before I declare a winner here, it wouldn't be fair unless I took the other LED bulbs that failed, the OSRAM, the Philips, the G7 Power, and the TCP, which albeit are a little bit heavier, and put them through the same drop tests. So I dropped them up to 25 times, but they didn't really survive. So between about 12 and 18 times, they failed. They either broke apart completely, their screw bases came apart or deformed to where, well, I couldn't screw them in, so they were declared dead. And so thus, I'm declaring, based on my personal experience, and this goes back several years, five plus years, testing LED light bulbs in one form or fashion for my own personal uh, use in my own life. And on this show, after testing many LED bulbs, I'm going to declare the Uluxus bulb the world's toughest LED light bulb. You heard it here first. Where can you get one of these amazing light bulbs? You can get it on our brand new Amazon store where basically we've got everything that we've ever talked about and a little bit more in multiple categories under LED lighting and home automation. So all the gadgets and gizmos and sensors and well, if you shop there, Amazon send us, you know, 50 cents to send us, you know, a dollar or so. So I encourage you to do that. It helps support the show financially, and we love it when you shop there. And who doesn't shop on Amazon? The link to there to the Amazon Web Store, of course, is in the description of this video. It's on the website. It's on the YouTube channel header. It's just about everywhere. So if you miss it, well, I don't know what you're doing. And don't forget to subscribe to Lighting Answers so you get all of our cool different episodes on lighting and home automation and design and projects and all that stuff. We've got a great announcement coming up in April, so stay tuned for that. And that's the end of the episode. I'm Joe Deganzik, and I'll see you next time.